Hello, welcome to the fourth lesson. In this lesson, we're just going to do a very short one where you're just going to have a an effect when and, and some perhaps some sound when we shoot the enemy. So when we when we hit the enemy, we want to have some either an explosion and some sound. So to do that, um, let's have a look. I'm in my I'm in my map. Um, Everything's pretty much set up as as we, as we left it last time, so I need to go to enemy one and okay, what are we gonna do? We've got all of our all of our collision settings set up for when when the projectile hits us, so we need to add a spawn emitter at location. So we've got cast, we've got print string, we've got delay. We got destroy the actor. We um, we don't want to do that yet. So if I press, the, keep my finger on control, and then click this, it, it'll break. It'll break the link. So let's move these out of the way for now. Um, so we hit hit hit. When we hit them, it says we've hit the target. So we want to move this in a bit, a little bit there. So we we will spawn an emitter spawn emitter at location so um, and what do we want to do this this is this is straightforward this is with just one sort of potential mistake you can make really so what we want to do all this comes from our content pack so explosion so spawn emitter at location um and then what can we do we can just delay we'll delay for another second so we can see what's happened we delay for one second and then we would um no we would put that into there destroy the actor and then um open the new level again um, we probably don't need to destroy the actor we can just start the level again but we will see how it looks I'll move these back so we get it all on the screen so um, so we spawn right location we where will where do we want the explosion to happen to happen um, so we would be it would let's have a look it would be get location so it's get it's get actor location so um we want it to happen at the actor's location um and we'll we'll give that a test see, see how it uh see how it all works compile it first no errors so let's close it down press play okay he's gonna come after me and there we are we hit him there's a slight delay explosion he started again okay so it's not too bad um so there's a nice a neat explosion and we could probably do away now with with one of the delays so let's go back into let's go back into this one we've got what do we have print string hit the target delay let's get rid of that one so hit the target and spawn the spawn the emitter on the target and that's it what we could also do just to uh, add to the effects we might as well just add add a sound while we're there so I could ha add in a um, spawn sound spawn sound application um, and we need to no I would like to press control and drag this to here so spawn sound what sound do I want it to be I want it to be um, explosion or one will do and then 
the location is this location and we've once the sounds happened we need to go back to the delay and it should all then run so let's move this down so let's compile and close that press play things should happen a lot faster now so we come along and there was the sound playing and it all went so we and that's pretty much it. we don't really need you know we are ending the game we all we are restarting it we could have just left it at destroy the actor and that would have been it it's a good idea to um i know i what i tend to do is i with my phone i take a photo of these screens and i know then that i can use these i suppose i call them code snippets you can use these again it's a uh, good practice because you'll you, you tend to be using the same thing over and over again and um what you can do is select all of that press c and you could do um enemy death with sounds and graphics there we are so um then we can just move that code snippet down um hope you found that one useful um and i look forward to seeing you at the next lesson thank you